morning. Um, so I am on the way to Bible study. I am late to Bible study. I'm supposed to be there at like 7.45, 7.50, and it is 8.24, but I think we're all running a little late this morning, so not that big of a deal. Um, I have not been to Bible study in two weeks, and it's not one of those situations. I feel like I haven't been there in two months, um, but life's just been really hectic with the salon moves. I had a dentist appointment last week. That's why I couldn't make it, but um, I'm going to Bible study, and then I have to run and get some little things, run some errands for the salon. I've got to get things like light bulbs. There's a few doors that fresh thresholds have to be put down in. Um, things like that. Little cosmetic things. Nothing big. Nothing huge. Uh, we open back up tomorrow. Ready or not, here we come. But um, yeah, so we've got I think like two things that we have to go get from the old salon building before we are just like done and over with. With that, my car is still loaded down. My drop, my passenger seat is like literally <laughs> to the top um, with stuff from the move. I had it cleaned out yesterday, and then it just you know got loaded right back down. Study. I'm gonna take y'all around with me today. I'm gonna to show y'all my new suite at the new salon because it is ready. It is ready for go tomorrow. Like I said, ready or not, here we come. So, yeah. God called us to love our neighbors through this. We're gonna go ahead and start reading this. Living by the Spirit, verse number, um, Galatians chapter five, verse number 16. Um, so I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives, then you won't, you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. The sinful nature wants to do evil, which is just the opposite of what the Spirit wants. Every single person that we come in contact with, God has a beautiful and awesome plan for them. Mm -hmm. But far too many times, we see it through the world's eyes mm -hmm. and not God's mm -hmm. eyes. So I think that's a prayer for all of us, is that our flesh would die and we would live like Christ. Um, I had to leave Bible study to run an errand. And Bible study today is a good one. We're digging deep. <laughs> Shelby said we're digging into the meat of being a Christian and meat in these Bible verses. But life will slow down eventually. I'm heading back to Bible study. I left my Bible in my study journal. So, it's a good one today. It is a good one, good one. So, I just came home, smacking on gum, I'm sorry. Got an email from FedEx. I have a package being delivered today that I had to do an express ship on. And um, he's requiring a signature, of course, because it's an express ship. And I'm just not gonna be here, so. I'm leaving a note on my front door, so just in case he's feeling kind, he can drop it off at my aunt's house next door, but. I'm starting to get a little addled um, because, you know, I sit here and say there's not much left to do at the new building, the new salon building, and there's really and truly not that much left to do. Um, there's just lots of cleaning and organizing need to be done. And, um, because, you know, there's been people in and out, you know, we've got everything moved in for the most part. Everybody's just been finalizing things and things just needs to be organized and cleaned. And I sit here and say it, say this, like it's not 11 o'clock in the morning, like there's the whole day left to do it. It's just like, you know, your brain just overworks sometimes and you're just like slow down for two seconds. But it is what it is. Everything's going to work out fine. Um, I'm just, I'm tired. I have, over the last month, not stressed like I have stressed. I've never stressed this much in my whole entire life. Um, I had stress and do his dandruff. Like, I don't have dandruff. I have oily, oily hair. Like, no. It's been stressing, and then I'm just tired. It's like, you know, I, I feel like I'm, like, behind on my life. Because I haven't had time for anything else other than this work, other than work in this new building. But we move in tomorrow and I just I pray that I'm able to get back in my routine of things and get back in the role, back on track of my life, back on top of things. So, um, I want to know why I don't buy nice expensive things. Can you see how scratched? I mean, I'm not saying keys are cheap or anything like that, but this is why all those times I walk in sunglass huts and try on Tom Ford sunglasses that look 
absolutely incredible on me. This is why I walk out without them. Because they are going to end up in the bottom of my purse. Scratched up and ruined. So, that means I'm buying a new pair of high keys tonight. I really want fades anyway. Kaylee has a pair of fades and I've stolen from her. Just for like the day and warm around. I'm like, these look so good on me. But, yeah. So, that's great. Um, I'm going to get lunch because I'm about to starve. I'm hungry. Um, and I have all the snacks from the old building that like we put out for the clients and everything at the salon. And there's Cheez-Its and Rice Krispie Treats, which are my favorite. Staring at me, so I have to go make a healthy decision and go get something to eat. Um, but I, well, I also need to go by the bank, but you know what? I'm just going to hold on to my money and not go to the bank because every time I go to the bank, my money goes away. So, I've got to go to the bank. Crap. But, yeah, so I'm going to get food. I'm starving, and I'll be back. So, here's my super yummy lunch. Um, I'm trying to wean myself off of Diet Cokes, and y'all, I'm struggling. Um, <laughs> bad struggling. I tried two weeks ago, and um, in the middle of this move, it was a no-go. I had one Diet Coke yesterday in a can. Just a regular Diet Coke. Not a large Diet Coke, just one Diet Coke, and I don't think I even finished it. But I really want a Diet Coke right now. But I'm having strength, strength and willpower and determination to not drink Diet Cokes. So I'm gonna enjoy my grass and my little teeny tiny chicken nuggets that I paid five dollars for, where I could have paid five dollars for enough to cook for the whole week. But you know what? It is what it is. So. So I wore this little jacket today um, because I knew I was going to be in the salon working in my room and everything and my room gets freezing and when I say freezing I don't mean just a little chilly and I don't get cold but I get cold up in this joint um, so I'm going ahead and apologizing for my clients because it's cold um, and it was like awesome outside all day long because it was like 73 all day long until the last hour and now it's 95 in south georgia again yay but i don't i, I don't do massages I don't do did not get around to filming my room, my new suite at the salon. I actually started, got sidetracked, and then like ended up just cleaning. Um, because that's, I mean, I we know we had like a few things to do, but basically we were cleaning today. And <laughs> cleaning the whole building and just finishing and uh, finishing things and next thing I knew it was like dark outside I had to get new light bulbs in my room and the light bulbs are gonna be really good for working but I didn't think I would like how the footage would look on the camera so I was like you know I'll just wait till tomorrow um, during my lunch break and that can just be on tomorrow but I am home before 10 o'clock for the first time in about a week and I am so excited about this I'm so excited I'm about to it's 8 37 
I am about to um, go get a shower, wash my face, and get myself in the bed. I have to work out with my trainer in the morning. I'm still debating on canceling. I'm not going to cancel. I am not going to cancel. I just have, I'm so tired. This, this, this move has been absolutely exhausting. And my mom was changing my light bulbs in my room earlier. And she looked at, down at me and she was like, can you believe we've done it? And I'm like, we did it. But I am like, so glad it's over. Hey, Bubba. Hey, Bubs. Hey, Marty. You ever bed? You ever bed, Bub? Good morning. It is Wednesday, the first morning of the new salon building being open for business. Um, I have my morning coffee with a straw always so you don't get coffee on your teeth and some eggs. Um, I'm going this morning, like I said yesterday, to work out with my trainer. I'm running a little behind, but you know, running late is just a common occurrence in my life at this point. I've just accepted it. I've just understood that, you know, sometimes I just can't help it. Sometimes my bed is real cozy in the morning. Sometimes the bath is real warm in the morning, so I stay a little longer. Sometimes, you know, the coffee's too good, so I have to have extra cup. You know, I just, I've just accepted it at this point. And you know, if people in my life can't accept the fact that I'm late, you don't need to be in my life. But I'm going to eat, scarf this down real fast because I need to leave my house in 15 minutes and I still have to brush my teeth and brush this dry shampoo out of my hair because what even is this? Okay. Um, and I'm not using dry shampoo for dry shampoo. I've been using a texture spray and this texture spray is the bomb baby. I can go way longer. I know I don't need to on this texture spray than dry shampoo, but you know what? Washing your hair is like shaving your legs. It's a commitment. And sometimes I just can't, just, I just can't do it. I, I just, I just can't do it. Sometimes I'm just not mentally stable enough to do it. So, here I am. I am on the way um, to work out with um, my trainer Cassie. <sighs> I worked legs Monday and she is going to make me, no I worked arms Monday and she's gonna make me work legs today and I was a sore little girl yesterday like right here and she's become like this big savage and she's like making me do 20 and 12 on the elliptical and I'm like death by elliptical come on please. <sighs> but um, yeah, she's totally gonna kill me today because I did not work out at all last week. And she's always like, try to get at least 30 minutes of cardio in a day. And I'm like, Cassie, <laughs> that's funny. I really, really do. I really have to get back on working out because I hate working out. I absolutely despise working out. But, um, she is going to go crazy with these lunches. She knows I hate lunches and I swear she makes me do extra lunches just because I hate them. I hate lunges. When I say l hate lunges, I hate every form of a lunge. Go dogs. Go dogs. She does whatever she wants, whenever she wants. That is a straight Twelve. up mood. I forgot headphones. working out so that could be part of the problem you know wait this lighting would be really good self lighting yep I'll come up in here when I do bomb makeup looks on myself heck I may even bring kind of lights over here 
and be taking the bomb pictures. For bomb makeup content. We all know that ain't ever gonna happen, but it's a thought. That's all that matters. Brainstorming. You feel me? Brainstorming. Okay. I'm dying already. I'm only four minutes in. You about to kill me via legs this morning? I am. <laughs> they just did squat jumps. Now, gosh, she hasn't made me do any lunges yet. But listen. We're gonna do three sets of 15 repetitions at 70 pounds. Guys, no one is hating. Miss, I got this when I was 18 on somebody's couch. Don't hate on my tattoo. Your hibiscus flower. <laughs> <laughs> the waves look really good though. I've got to get it redone. I'm going to get it redone, I think. 18 bar years old. At least it's not bar wire. At least it's not bar wire. Hey guys, so I'm here. I'm ready for the day. I'm ready to take it on. Um, I didn't wash my hair. I did bathe and body just a little bit after my workout, but I didn't sweat too bad. I didn't sweat, but that texture spray I've been using for dry shampoo <laughs> got my back um so I'm going to show y'all what I'm wearing today this is my outfit can you see I sort of look like a Chinese lady you know when you go in restaurants and they're wearing like lots of silk I'm going to cut these ties off because it's supposed to this little thing is supposed to be meant to be tied but I didn't like it I ain't feeling it you know, so I'm just gonna leave it open. I've got lots of silk going on right now. My tank is silk. This is silk. My earrings don't match, but you know what? I'm just living my life right now. I'm at here doing me, no complaints. Here I am. Um, so, yeah. Like, why is this time? <laughs> Jesus, hell. So, my appointment, my first appointment of the day, should be here in just a few minutes. She's 10 30. Um, She's a full set of lashes. She's never had lashes before, so she's a first timer. But I'm excited for the day. Yeah, these hoops do not match this at all, but do you think I care? <laughs> no. My lipstick looks really like orange. It's not I'm looking in my viewfinder. But um, yes, yeah, so here I am. Get it together, girl. Get it together. I'm just excited. I'm just excited. I'm excited. But um This is like really sporadic right now. Fitness ever. These jeans, these black skinnies are from American Eagle. These um, little slide flaps are from a little boutique at um, David's Clothing. They're on Instagram. Um, I think Shop David's Clothing on Instagram. They're from Spring. I got these black ones and then a tan pair. I've literally worn them to death. Um, all of my little earrings that I said that don't match. My appointment pulling up my ear. Um, these are all from Francesca's. Don't look at my sideburn hair that needs to be waxed. And then this little cardigan thing, wrap thing, is from Neely May. So, on Instagram, I love ordering from them. But, um, yeah. Okay. My pump might pull it up. I'm gonna go get her. See y'all later. Y'all see this little thing Kaylee is wearing? So, I bought that months ago to wear for my 21st birthday. Do you see this that I'm wearing today? Me and Kaylee worked a wedding last week, two weeks ago, and no, was, last week. was it last week? No, no, no. no week before last. Week. Yeah, two weeks ago. So we worked a wedding together, and um, also look how good her makeup looks today. It's that new Desi Perkins, Katie Desi Colors, Frank Asian. But I got to her house at like 6:50 in the morning, and that whole night before, I was like in an internal battle with myself on what I should wear to the wedding. And I wore this around my house for like an hour trying to decide if this is what I wanted to wear. And I decided to get set, pulled up to Kaylee's house, and <laughs> she was wearing this. And I was like... And she was wearing this. Was I really wearing that? Yeah, you wore this at that wedding, remember? I forgot! <laughs> so... And Kaylee was like, I looked at her and said, Kaylee, what would you have done if I wore that today? She said, I would have taken myself and brought back to my house and changed. I forgot I wore that that wedding too. Yeah, that's what's so funny about it. <laughs> but we did basically swap outfits. Well, yeah. But I'm giving Kaylee complete credit for this outfit that I'm wearing right now. Because I was wearing this shirt like 
wrapped around this little shawl thing and I was not wearing a black tank. Oh, y'all see my boobies, I'm sorry. I was not wearing a black tank or black pants underneath it. And Kaylee wore it like this a few days ago and I'm like, oh, thanks for telling me how I need to wear that. It's okay. It's just a That looks really cute on you too. Thanks. So we should just do boxy twins one day and match. I know. I'm mixing up the pink. But you in those cheetah shoes, you can wear like everything. Look, they're right at my back door. So those are the shoes. I, you know, I have 3,000 pair of shoes, but I just grabbed a pair that are back my, by my back door, and it was either these or I think my blue Converse, which don't match. No. And these don't really either, but we're going with it. Kaylee is about to put some pink in her hair. We're doing mine tomorrow. We really probably could have time to do it right now, but we might as well wait till tomorrow. I really want it like a baby pink. Just dilute it. That's what I'm doing right now. With that clear. But I find that's breast cancer awareness thing. Yeah, that is. Not like the pale pink t shirts you made Ellie get us at the salon. Well, she was gonna put like hot candy pink, and I'm like, but who looks good in that? Nobody. So, yeah. I will come back to y'all later whenever Kaylee has pink in her hair. I have a two o'clock makeup appointment, so. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Also, I haven't told y'all this yet. It stinks in here right now because my mom was doing a treatment on somebody's hair and she uses towels, like warm towels on their heads while she's doing treatments. And she caught the microwave on fire. Well, she caught the towel in the microwave on fire. She didn't necessarily catch the microwave on fire, but my first day hiccup. It smells fabulous in here right now. This lighting's really good. Kaylee. Yeah. The selfie lighting in front of your window is bomb. Huh? The selfie lighting in front of your window? That's what I was hoping. I actually thought about that today. I was like, I'm gonna my makeup bomb as hell. So then I can have the selfie lighting. Mom. You know, my tinfoil always. It looks like an earring. Looks like a earring. Looks like just a big earring. Yes. Okay. So I'm heading to get lunch while the girls are in the salon. Um, I am so ready to get my car cleaned out. This is, and I can't keep a car, but this is just, I, this is ridiculous. Um, like it's getting, it's bad. But it's junk, like there's a big behind heavy 200 pound mirror in the back of my car. Like I can't, there's a massage table, a mirror, all kinds of crap. There's blinds in my front seat. Like I was thinking, I don't know where I'm gonna put this lunch at. And, car is really addling me but it's a really good day at the salon it's been busy there's been lots of people in and out people dropping by seeing us and checking out the new place and um like i said so let me just let me just grab it here i've got to get that mount because i cannot be doing this this is this is this is not legal this is very illegal so okay i'm going to get lunch i'll see you when we get back to the salon <laughs> This is what I'm eating for lunch today. Um, there is black beans, a little bit of Mexican rice, chicken, um, lettuce, some pico, and corn salsa. And that salsa on top is um, the restaurant that we got. This one's called Sarcheros, but it's like a Chipotle ranch sauce. So I'm still, I'm still half decently healthy. But y'all look, my awesome brother-in-law. Brought me my package that I paid a hundred extra dollars for to be delivered yesterday. It was today. And he brought it to me at the salon. Thank you, I appreciate you, Michelle. This better be the right package that I'm thinking of too. I have like three packages on the way. I'm gonna be so mad if it's not. Ha ha, it's not the package. It is one of the packages I needed, but it's not the package. So pretty, so pretty, so pretty. I heard that too. <laughs> I just spent more time fixing someone else's mess with lash extensions and fixing me just taking off. Because if she would come to me and say, this girl would have come to me after she got these extensions off and said, or if, even if they all shed out, I don't even know if they would have ever shed out. She would have come to me and said, I want extensions, I would have sent her on her way. 
was a mess. There was clumps of glue that were the size of Africa. Like, it was ridiculous. It took me more time to get those lashes off than it takes me to do a fill-in. AKA 45 minutes to an hour. Now I have a headache and I'm like, I need a drink and not water and not a Diet Coke. We are on the way. Look. Mess. We're on the way to trivia. You're not a very exciting person. Do something funny. It's a lot to ask of a person. Got my double chin. That's real cute. That's one of the funniest. There we go. No double chin. Mama knows you so much. So, I just got done with my first appointment of the day. Um, I am about to go wax my eyebrows and wax my sideburns. It's really weird, but I have not waxed in nine months. Been plucking, so wish me luck. Really hope it doesn't pull my skin off, but it probably will. Look my luck. You know, but it is what it is. So I'll be back momentarily. I'm just hard looking. I'm over it. Over it. So my face is freshly waxed. Um, I haven't waxed in nine months because I was on a medicine that uh, look, I have not washed my hair in three days. I was on a medicine that I couldn't cause me not to be able to wax so wax my skin off. So I finally soaked it up and waxed. Um, here is the package. The package. Notice. Tuesday, October 2nd. They delivered it yesterday. And I'm sorry, I know that's only one day, but if I paid a hundred bucks for it to get here on time, Tuesday, not yesterday, I wouldn't be angry. I mean, here I am, I put makeup on. I look half decently presentable. Freshly waxed face, even though my brows look like fourth cousins, twice removed, but it is what it is, you know, it'll be okay. It will be okay. But I'll show you what I'm wearing. I look like a trash bag today. I'm just wearing American Eagle skinnies, Aziz Supply Tee, and Burks. Look good. Thrown away. Five times. 
but here I am. I'm currently getting pink hair. I don't chunky though. I won't be able to see them. You don't have to do that. Just mom, they weren't doing that. They were taking them to chunk. You want like a slice of it? They were slicing. Mm-hmm. You want a slice? You got a slice? Yeah. I'm going pink. Where'd y'all go have lunch? Angels. Angels. That sounds good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm in no rush there. Angels. Mm -mm. There's Kaylee's pink hair. Mm -hmm. That's cute. Mm -hmm. I watched back on some footage I had that I filmed with myself the last few days. And I've done a incredible job at getting the absolute most worst possible angles of myself. I feel like, you know, I'm really succeeding at this. Ooh, even the folds are even pink. You're they said pink on the thing. Look how cute this little succulent Kaylee has on her station is. My mama kept it alive for me. Your mama kept it alive for you. You're cute. I honestly think this is one of my better looks. I thought I just got paint, pink hair color on my hands. I'm telling you, I feel like I could have this. I have a crazy afternoon. <clears throat> I'm back to back. On the hour. On the dot. All afternoon long until about 7 o'clock tonight. So, yay. So, I have wet hair. Seal. I have fixed more of other people's messes this week than I'm probably good for. And I am like so over at this point. I need these people, these lash techs, to freaking get it together. Because this is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm over it. I need to go home at this point, but I still have another full set. Who is in the waiting room waiting for me? But I got pink here. <laughs> so, one more, and then we're done. One more. Good morning guys. So I'm leaving my house as we speak to uh, go to the salon. I'm going a little earlier than my first appointment because Kaylee is going to come style my hair for me this morning. I put all this pink in my hair yesterday and I don't even know how to style my hair. So like just put like a little wave or like a little messy, make it look messy. So she's gonna come do that for me this morning. My car is still a mess. I said I was going to do that at some point this week too, get this car cleaned out, but that's not happened. It'll happen at some point. I'm just, my life's a mess right now, but my life's never not a mess. So, um, makeup will be put on probably around lunch sometime when I have some time. Um, me and Victoria are going tonight to see A Star is Born, the new Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga movie. I'm so freaking excited. Yep, I'm headed to the salon. I look a hot mess this morning. I wore my glasses because I have not not worn my glasses I'm about to hit a bump I've worn my contacts for like the last few months so I need to give my eyes a break I can't see my windows are fogged so yeah my glasses when I bought these glasses like a few months ago I didn't get a no glare on them which I highly 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 regret so I'm probably gonna take these back and get them to send them off and put um, no glare on the lenses and y'all this is <laughs> that's a little too much pink but we've already got one week of October down. We've already got, no, I do not. Um, we've already got one week of October down. So I've only got three weeks left and I'll wear it for three weeks and then cover it back up. But so I will see y'all when I get to the salon in just a few. You look high. <laughs> Those iPads where they look good. All right, let you check them out. Hey, Roscoe. This is my client, not my client, my stylist, Casey. Her dog, Roscoe. The car is very much running, so don't freak out. Hey, Roscoe. Roscoe is a savage. No, oh, a savage. Victoria is complaining about the people driving behind us. Not driving fast enough and then slowing down. They need to decide how fast they're gonna go. Is what she's saying. AKA put your cruise control on people. Um, I 
decided against makeup today. So, here I am. We're on the way to go see A Star is Born. So excited. So excited. How excited are you? <laughs> She's so overly dramatic. Just love it. Lit. Lego. Yeah, you the one who wrote that article on the Los Angeles Examiner? Seems like I'm like, why did he need to stop it? Possibly. I don't know when we thought that it was a good <laughs> freaking idea to come see that movie, but look at. I cried literally the whole entire freaking movie. When I see the whole entire movie, the whole entire freaking movie. I'm so. Oh. It was so good. Can we get the because <laughs> I am so sad. Is there one thing? I will memorize that entire album. The playlist <laughs> to that movie is gold. And when I say gold. Bradley Cooper is a star. I listen. <laughs> Not even a minute into the movie, I leaned over it and said, I am shook. And threw a word in there that I'm not saying. I, mean, I, was, I was prepared to cry. <laughs> I was prepared to cry, but I was Woo! not prepared to be as hurt as I am hurt right now. I just don't know how to feel right now. I'm so sad. So I took complete and full advantage of not having to work today. It is Saturday, October 3rd. And I have not slept past 9.30. Well, actually, I didn't sleep past 9.30. I slept right up until 9. But I haven't slept after 8 o'clock in so long. Still haven't had Diet Coke. Still sleeping great. I woke up one time between midnight and nine o'clock, and that was at 6:48. That's what my camera, my phone said. I'm a little winded. I sort of just jogged in my car and back. Apologize. We don't run. We know that. Um, woke up at 6:48, and that's because my alarm clock every day during the week goes off at seven, unless I have to be up a little earlier for something. But I feel so good right now. <laughs> I am I've just been so overworked lately um way overworked with moving into the new salon working in general this work week was crazy um like I said I, mean, I had to deal with so much of other people's crap this week other people's mess up lash messes and it was a mess but why is my dog freaking out he's sitting on the couch like I said, I've got a baby shower to go to, which I'm just dropping in. I'm not actually going to go to the whole baby shower. Baby showers are not my favorite thing. Um, got a baby shower and then a paint party with my Bible study girls. We're painting pumpkins. So I've got to go get a pumpkin. I've got to find some type of little finger food to take. Um, and then I want to go find just like a cute little top or something to wear today. So I'm going to go get a shower and go to some little boutiques in town or something. And, um... Find a little top to wear. I'm hoping I can find something that's red, white, and black, or just white and black, so I can wear it to the Georgia game to watch the Georgia game tonight. Um. Okay. What do This is what I bought to wear today. It's just this little thermal tee that buttons down and has a little knot at the end. Um, I bought this 
because it's just casual. It's not necessarily considered Georgia red, but I feel like I can pull it off tonight for the Georgia game we're going to, the party we're going to. These are American Eagle skinnies. Um, they were a little long for these little shoes, so I just rolled them up a little at the end, and then I bought these little slip-ons. Super cute for fall. So, not gonna lie, they're just maybe like a centimeter too small, but full stretch. So, this is what I'm wearing. Um, this is the final makeup look I went with. Added some lashes. Put some hairspray through my hair because there's no help in this hair at this moment. I do feel like my hair is found at the length um, all over to where I can just make it look a little more messier and it, I can pull it off. I can get away with it. Look at my viewfinder again to make sure I look half decent. So, here I am, I'm running to the baby shower. Um, and then I'm going to go to the grocery store to get groceries to make some little sandwiches for the pumpkin paint party today. So, let's go. some chocolate covered strawberries is what I'm about to come for. The chocolate. chicken fingers um, to take to the pumpkin painting party because I ended up staying at the baby shower the whole time. Of course I did. Um, all my friends were there so I was just like, you yeah, know, here I am. Let me just stay. And the shoes that I'm wearing today are starting to bother my feet. But I'm actually not going to wear this to the Georgia football game party tonight. I'm going to... Um, Put the t-shirt I had back on earlier. T-shirt and leggings. Spray myself with a little bit of perfume on my ass. Had to come fix my makeup. And my hair, oh Jesus. This is my favorite scent from Bath and Body Works. Sparkling Lemon Chili. Lemon is my favorite scent. Seven Glory has a lemon scent too that's my favorite. But yes, my ankles are hurting, so I'm like wearing these shoes. You see how I'm wearing them? They're probably going to come off at some point. But, so I'm going to get chicken tenders and then go to Shelby's house. Girl, this ain't nice so brown. cute. Don't look at the egg strip. The eggs are not. See, and then. Let's see the eggs. Listen, look, those got a little bit touched by the fridge, but you know, maybe they'll be good. You know what? It is what it is. They're you just, know, it's just is. eggs. It's, 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 it's just okay. eggs. That's why I keep trying to sell myself, but I've been super relaxed about this one. Right. Like this is super chill. You want to see my party? Party. party? Kiki. You're not, you're not 
Don't squeeze him. Have you squeezed him, Trip? You haven't squeezed him. I like him. I don't want to squeeze him. You little kitty cat. He knows he's going to bite me. He's not going to bite me. He is. Alright, Trip, Close. There we go. Shelby, do you actually use the buttons? Do you actually use the buttons on your trash can? Ah, so that's a thing. Omg, I completely forgot about how it worked. Okay, understandable. Got it. Kiki. You're so cute. Do not trust child. No. Hi. Nope. Get a picture of your shark. Okay. What is this? I'm a sucker. Oh. For the ladies. Look at me. She's so cute. Trip. Yeah, beautiful. Hey. I'm just kidding. Um. I'm waiting for Kiki to pounce. Oh God. Maybe one day. Pounce Kiki, pounce. Stop it, Kiki. If I bought a spaghetti squash when I was at the farmer's market earlier and I gave it to Jesse <laughs> to paint for Patrick. I mean, Patrick is Spongebob. Just the thought of randomly having a spaghetti squash. I randomly had a spaghetti squash in my car. I know. God, the image. Jesse, you're probably figuring out we're a little more dysfunctional than we Yeah. We get it together on Tuesdays. We get it together. We have it together on Bible study Tuesdays, but uh, yeah. every other day we don't have it together. Because oh, yeah. who randomly has spaghetti squashes in their car? Yeah. Literally, who says, I died. Like, what is the reasoning for the spaghetti squash? Because I like spaghetti squash, yes. Hey, baby Charlie. We got it. Hey. Precious angel. Precious angel. Precious angel. Yeah, I'll hold him. Okay. I'll finish my Look at your little baby Charlie. God, he just likes to lay on me. Hi, baby Charlie. He's in pre-K with you, but I don't know if y'all are in the same class, so you might not ever see him. Can you hear? Oh, the foot, sweetheart? You're going to town on that hand, dude. Yeah, that's all right. I think he might be about to start teething. Oh. Jesse's showing us all up, but that, that's no surprise. That scared the crap out of Kiki. <laughs> she jumped. My pumpkin. Jesse pumpkin. And then the start of Patrick. So I'm in my driveway and it is 1 30 and my night like changed really quickly so I was at that Georgia party um which the Bulldogs won like 41 13 six and oh but then uh, my mom I was on the way home and I called my mom and she said well ride over here to some of their friend's house and we're watching the McGregor Khabib fight Yeah, <laughs> that that went south very rather quickly. Um, I am not per se a McGregor fan, but if I'm watching a fight and it's between McGregor and someone else, I'm gonna pull for McGregor. Come at me, I don't care. But y'all, that went that went south quick, like quick I have a headache after that and the people the the group of people like they, <laughs> I need to go to bed after that I'm coming home to see about my dog and let him out and go to bed hey guys so I don't even know where my phone is but it is 
probably getting close to 12 o'clock on Sunday and I am freshly out of the shower. My hair is freshly air dried. I just ate some breakfast, like I said, even though it's probably getting close to 12 o'clock. And we're out of Splenda and sugar and all we had was like that nasty stevia stuff. So I tried to use that in my coffee this morning and it just didn't work. I'm like, my coffee's completely ruined. So then I was gonna have some green tea and all I had was chai tea. And I love, I'm a chai tea fanatic, but I'm just not in the mood for chai tea right now. So I've had water this morning. I know green tea is not gonna give me any energy, but it just makes me feel good, so. But I was, when I was in the shower, um, thinking about having to sit down and edit this footage, um, praying that I don't lose all the footage in about the span of 10 minutes. Um, I was thinking, you know, I was, it's been probably about a year, a little over a year since I really stopped Snapchat and I always try to blame it on the update, um, but really and truly I'd stopped snapping months, probably six, maybe even a little more months before the update. I don't know, life just got really, really busy and then the update happened and I got really discouraged because, <coughs> excuse me, I got really discouraged because I'd go on there and I'd post something and 800 people would view it. When months ago, there were 3,000 people viewing each one of my stats. And I know that's like, why are you complaining about that? Still 800 people, but you don't realize I worked for those 3,000 people. You know what I mean? And then it was just like Snapchat. And I feel like social media is really like affecting a lot of the influencers and things like that. And I'm by no means an influencer, but I don't know. It was just discouraging. And But Snapchat, I was on Snapchat for so many years and I... It was like, that was a form of vlogging because Snapchat saw my everyday move. I literally documented my life on Snapchat for years. And I was on Snapchat at my lowest, my highest. I was in my Sunday's best. I was doing hilarious hot mess things, getting myself into, if you were part of my Snapchat, you remember the butt of Walmart and you remember the time I embarrassed the crap out of myself in front of Aaron Murray. But it is what it is. So, it, and you know, I stopped for a year and, and or probably like I said, a little over a year. And in that little over a year, so much has happened. Um, you know, Snapchat saw me lose 70 pounds. But Snapchat did not see me gain over half of it back, you know, and Snapchat didn't see me really find the job security in my gift um, because I've been really working is that's what I like to call it working in my gift which is the makeup the beauty industry for going on two years and full time um they didn't see that you know they didn't see the struggle it was you know the times where I was like I have no money <laughs> I have no money I haven't asked my mom and daddy for everything and um you know it's I don't know that I necessarily would have showed that the this this vlog I'm doing right now either, but I don't know. Snapchat just Snapchat was such a big part of my life. I know that sounds crazy, but I literally took Snapchat around with me everywhere. Those people saw everything I did, and then I just stopped. And it's been weird this week following my life around with this camera because I've sort of been like, I really miss this, but at the same time, I'm like opening up and like showing my life again it's been weird because i mean like <laughs> y'all see me real cute this week y'all seen the best double chin angles and i haven't really shown the world I, like i haven't shown anyone that in a long time so i don't know it's just weird being back out there in the open because like instagram don't see this instagram sees me looking hot let's be real so um yeah y'all have Really, y'all have seen it this week, and this coming up week is going to be even crazier. I'm really, really busy this week with business, um, business with work. I had a really busy week this week, which is great. Um, but I don't have anything real fun going on. I mean, this weekend, I have a wedding this weekend I'm helping Kaylee with, and I have some things going on, but it's been, it's going to be a busy one this week, and I've really enjoyed vlogging this week following myself around and showing you guys the people that are in my daily lives um every day because i feel like even though i'm like constantly on instagram but instagram doesn't see my daily life and i i've liked 
following my daily life around even though I think I'm boring but everyone's like yes do it so here I am <laughs> but I have my laptop here with me I'm going to attempt to edit this footage a lot of the times I can't sit and work at home like doing things like this I have to go and get out of my home environment because I'm sitting here like there's so much I need to do like I need to wash the dishes that are in the sink right now I need to go wash some clothes even though I do have a load of clothes in the wash and they're done I need to go put them in the dryer so I may have to leave and go to the salon which if that's the case that's fine I'll be fine at the salon because nothing at the salon needs to be done um but yeah so I'm going to attempt this and hope this vlog works out. <laughs> hope I can make this a weekly thing because I will start again tomorrow morning. I started uh, weird this week. I think I started on Tuesday. Um, it was a really last minute spur of the moment thing. I was like, I saw my camera and I said, let me pick you up. Follow me around. So, I'm going to start tomorrow morning, and um, this afternoon I'm going to chill. I've got a lot I need to do around the house. Oh, I've got so much I need to do. So, yep. I hope y'all enjoyed this week. Um, not much went on, but my life really not that exciting anyway. So, yeah, we'll see y'all again tomorrow. Ooh, I'm going to knock my camera over too. We may not have a vlog tomorrow. <laughs>